Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we have another absolute hoss to take a look at. And uh, it's from kind of a surprising company. This is actually an O knife, and uh, it's dropping today. And what we are talking about is the O knife Century Lee. Now, before I go any further into this review, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Now, let's take a look at some overall specs on this absolutely massive knife right here. We have an overall length coming in at 9.34 inches, a blade length coming in at 3.97 inches, and a blade thickness at a rather thick 150 thousandths. We have D2 steel on the blade with a pretty uh, a pretty sassy, massive cleaver shape going on with a flat grind, a handle length coming in at 5.37 inches, handle material of G10, and of course we have a, uh, a rather nice, robust liner lock there with a user of a right hand only tip up carry, a weight coming in at, uh, you probably would have expected it, but 8.55 ounces, so you definitely feel it in the hand, but again, you know, if you're wearing regular pants, I struggle to find anything under even 10 ounces to really feel it and notice it in my in my pants. If your pants are falling down, that actually probably means you need to get a belt. You may not necessarily have too heavy of a knife, but a, a belt would really help. So just, just an FYI there. Uh, price on this guy, normally $64.99, but right now it is actually on sale through a sale through O-Knife. If you buy just the knife, you get 20% off, which would bring the knife down to $51.99. Or if you, there's certain bundles where it will discount the knife down to 30%. Obviously, you'd be buying more than just this knife. So <clears throat> the actual overall price is probably going to be more than $51.99 or even $64.99. But you're going to be buying more in the in that certain bundle. Um, but for $51.99, 20% off, it's really hard to have an issue with that. I mean, it's a lot of knife. It's made by Kaiser. So you know you're getting really good quality. And uh, yeah, it's just a very big blade. Uh, let's talk, let's do some size comparisons to see just how big it is because there's really only two knives that need to come on this table for a size comparison. And I think you guys know where I'm going when I go to get big knives. I go for two of my favorites, the Cold Steel 4 Max Scout. Let's line it up on the same square. As well as the uh, slightly smaller Cold Steel 8010. Uh, and as you can see, um, very much right in between the 4 Max Scout and AD10. So this confirms it. It's a big freaking knife. Um, and sometimes doing the opposite also helps. Let's get a couple other regular EDCs in here and take a look at something like the uh, Kaiser Drop Bear. See how that... <laughs> look at that little guy. And then we have the Kaiser Escort right here. And as you can see, uh, much bigger than both of those. So it's been confirmed. There's no denying this is a very big knife. Uh, the blade. I will say the blade is actually pretty nice. And there's some elements to this blade. I, You know, this is, this is kind of a conundrum for me. Because overall, this knife in general, it probably isn't much my style. But there are some things about this knife that I really do enjoy. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the blade in this choil right here, like this perfect finger choil, uh, with some really good jimping and just, again, you have one powerful, sharp slab of steel here. I mean, you can do some good work with this knife. This is a, you know, I think they listed it as a camping knife on the website. I don't know if I would take it maybe like spot camping. If I wasn't like backpacking, I could maybe maybe justify that. Uh, but it's just a fun knife to carry. I mean, this is, this is something to where I probably wouldn't carry it every day, but it'd be a fun, like, little change-up. Hell, it'd be, it'd be part of a Halloween costume. Uh, but it, it would. it's just it's a nice change-up, something very different, something big and just kind of fun. Uh, but the blade is a pretty darn nice blade. 19 thousandths behind the edge. 19 thousandths here, very tall, flat grind there. Uh, it's really some pretty decent cutting geometry. Like, it... it it's going to be rather slicey. Um, it handled paper really well. Um, yeah, I, I did enjoy cutting with it. 
Um, it, it feels good in hand. It, it feels very good in hand. It, it, a big hands will love it. Small hands could probably still use it pretty much just fine. So um, I think it's one of those knives that it really could kind of appeal to some people. It's just kind of like a novelty knife, like a fun knife, and not just like a true everyday carry. Um, but yeah, very, very interesting. Blade cutout. Blade cutout is, is good, but it's just, it's such a big knife. Like, yes, you can middle finger flick it, but you know, it, it does have a rather heavy detent, which is understandable on a knife this big. Um, yeah, but overall a very nice blade, very useful blade, just a, a lot of blade. Um, and the handle has some good texturizing on the G10. One thing I do really like is I feel like they kind of uh, quieted down with the O-Knife branding. You don't have that on the blade, which I love. I love not seeing that O-Knife logo on the blade. That's kind of like a dream come true for me if you guys have seen my other reviews of O-Knife. So really like that. They did bring the O-Knife branding down here to the pocket clip, which, you know, it's still there. So I can't say I love it, but I like it a lot better here than I do up there. So, I don't know, take that for what it's worth. Uh, but it is nice and uh, recessed screws, and I kind of feel like, is that milled out at all? No, I, I can't really tell. I can't really tell if that, there may be partial inset of the actual clip, but either way, it's gonna carry very nice in the pocket for you with those nice recessed screws, nice and flat there. Um, so yeah, that's a good thing. And the handle itself, it really does feel pretty good in hand. Um, I, if I had thicker fingers, it would be like, if you're someone that has kind of big hands and thick fingers, this is going to feel like a glove to you. Like, this is going to feel phenomenally well. Um, it feels, like I said, it feels pretty good in my hand, but I kind of feel the gaps here in the curves. But if you got bigger, if you got bigger hands, boy, oh boy, you might want to really consider this, especially if you like big knives. It would feel very, very good for you. Um, and I really love this choked up position here. That's nice. And the handle itself is just a very, very solid build. I mean, you can tell it's a Kaiser build. You got nice three standoffs back here, which is really important. I, I hate it when you just have like one standoff and then the pivot because then you can get a little flex. Um, but it's really nice to have all that support back there and uh, just a good texture on the handle to really, to really in, in get the most out of this because you could really... This would be one that would kind of be fun to go like, see if you could cut a tree branch down with it because you you really probably could. It, this would probably act a lot like the 4Max Scout in terms of you have that reach. Uh, bring this back in. You know, you have a good amount of reach on the 4Max Scout and you have really almost as much, if not the same amount of reach uh, with the Century Lee. So that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I do like that. Um, like I said here before, have a really nice solid lockup, and they even did some beveling there on the liner lock, which actually makes that pretty nice. Um, you kind of have this area here as kind of like a, kind of like a safety to where it's going to hit your thumb before this comes down and, and, and bites you, so you don't really have to worry about that. But I noticed there's not a detent ramp here, and this really could, especially this knife as big as it is, it would really uh, I think benefit well from a detent ramp. That is one thing that I, I would have liked to have seen on this, but it still works actually really good when you need to close it. You just want to make sure that when you do close that liner lock and break the lock up, that you move past the detent ball and you'll feel the detent ball go past the liner. So, you know, you're cleared and you can just close it. Um, it's just a feel that you'll get used to. And anyone that is a knife person, they know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, going into action, it's, it's actually really good for a big knife like this. Once you break that detent, the blade comes out very easily. Now, it doesn't quite whip out like a smaller flipper would to where, you know, you break the detent and it just whoosh, flies right out, but that's pretty good. I'll, I'll, I'll take that for a knife this big. Um, it's a very satisfying flipping action. Uh, it's kind of up there with like, maybe the, maybe the Sheepdog? Maybe the, the, the XL Sheepdog, it, like it's a pretty good action. Uh, no surprise, they both coming from Kaiser. So, you know, Kaiser has that figured out. But uh, nice flipping action. And then, like I said, you can middle finger flick it. I, it's just, it, you know, it's just kind of okay. It's just kind of whatever. But you can still do it. And you can probably, I don't even think I've tried this yet. But, oh yeah, you can very easily just thumb roll it. So it's got its multiple deployment options. 
And I'm kind of surprised I'm saying this in everything about it too. I mean, like blade centering is pretty much perfect. Maybe just favoring the show side, just a hair. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty nice knife. Like it's, it's a fun knife. Like I said, it's not, this is not something I'd carry every day. It's not going to be like the, one of my favorite knives in my collection, but it's just a fun knife. And for 50, for 52 bucks, like I have a hard time knocking it. Like I, I really do kind of enjoy this one. It, it's, it's a cool one. The O knife century Lee guys, let me know what you think of this. There's a link below. If you want to go pick one up for yourself and have some kicks and, and hacks and maybe cut a tree down with it. So let me know what you think of this. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.